Hello everyone, my name is Drew Winchowski and I'm a Solutions Engineer here at MarkLogic. And today I'm going to talk to you about Data Hub, as well as executing multi-model queries using the Optic API. What you're seeing in front of you is the quick start application for developing Data Hub applications on top of MarkLogic. And today we're going to use some data from the Library of Congress, a ontology for geographic regions and we are going to also use review data coming from Glassdoor indeed about employee satisfaction to start we're going to look at our entity model here we have a review and this review model here is a canonical representation of what we want to capture across both data sets so we have items like positions, summary, locations, created dates, ratings, etc. And both, both data sources are going to get mapped into this canonical model. Before we get into loading the review data, however, we're going to load the graph data from Library of Congress. I'm going to switch over to a command line utility right now, where I'm going to run a Gradle command to load the geographic information. This information is stored as RDF. And looks a little bit like this. You can you can load RDF triples into MarkLogic, and MarkLogic will manage these triples in a managed graph, which means that there is no inherent connection to these to this data to a document or piece of content within the data and they can be referenced and queried independently. I created a small little extension in our build script here, this task, load geo, which will utilize MLCP to load this information. MarkLogic will then take these triples and add them into the database as a managed graph. We'll see a few independent documents that have these triples within, within them. Next thing we're going to look at is the flow. We're going to just take a look at one of them for now, Glassdoor. And we have CSV data that we're going to load in as is. We're going to map it using our entity mapper here. We have some functions that we're going to use to clean up the data, as well as just some simple one-to-one -one mapping. And we're going to also run a little custom step. This little custom step will extract, will extract information about the state location and create a triple within the document. This will be part of the unmanaged graph, meaning that the triple resides within the document. And it can be used to query uh, with Sparkle, as well as joining uh, entry point to join uh, the managed graph with the content in the Optic. So I'm going to go ahead and load this. So we're going to load in about 2,000 records here. We are ingesting the raw as is data right now mapping to the canonical entities. And executing the custom step to create the triples. I'm going to just take a look at these finished records here. And I'm going to look at some of these reviews. And here you can see the semantic triple that has been added to the envelope denoting that this particular review was in North America, U.S., Texas. So this IRI points back to the managed graph that came from the Library of Congress, and there is nowhere in this document that, that states that Texas is part of North America. So what we're going to do now is going to build some queries. The first query we're going to look at is using Sparkle, and we are going to look at the Ge geography. We're going to pull out a label as well. 
to uh, just to help us look through the results, and then we're going to pull out the R the URIs for the documents that that match those locations. Now we're going to start with just Geo North America. However, we're going to add this little plus here, so we find all the descendants with, with the broader to, border predicate associated with it. So when I execute these, I can see that we have a location of Alabama, which is in part of North America, US, and, it and this particular review references Alabama. So this is an interesting way to see the graph. However, we're going to want to combine this with the documents that we just loaded. ArcLogic provides Optic, an API that allows you to search across multiple models that are stored in the same database. And we can do mixes of types of queries. So we're going to do uh, a date query utilizing the range indexes. We're going to do a free text word query. We're going to use that Sparkle query that we just showed to traverse the graph, the managed graph, and link it to the unmanaged graph within the documents. And we're going to just limit the records to 100. The first query part of the query plan here set up from the review view that we just uh, created based on this entity model. So the data hub will automatically create this view for you once you create the entity. We're going to do a property range query against the created date. We specified a range index in our model by selecting this Thunderbolt in Quick Start and the necessary indexes were configured. And then we're going to do a full text search just using a word query. The next we have our Sparkle query that we constructed previously and we're going to create this plan, part of the plan that utilizes this particular query. And then we're going to join these two plans. And we're telling that the review data hub generated primary key will match the location URI that comes from the graph. So when we execute these, we can see the particular reviews come back with location information that came out from, from the graph as well as metadata from the record that pertain to the, the review. If you have any other questions about Optic API or data modeling in general, please feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you.